Back in 2004, Shaq and Kobe split up. Shaq made his way to Miami to play alongside Dwayne Wade, and Kobe was left essentially alone in Los Angeles. No second star to play alongside of. So, today we're going to be rebuilding this Lakers team after Shaq left, because it took a while for LA to get Kobe the right help with Pau Gasol coming to the team, so we're going to try to make it happen a little bit faster. The ultimate goal for Kobe Bryant, win him six championships. At this point, of course, he has three rings, the three-peat that he won with Shaquille O'Neal. So, we've got a lot of work to do to win Kobe Bryant some more championships. Now, there's a couple directions we could take this. We could try and compete right now, which could be difficult. I mean, I know we have Kobe Bryant, but this roster all around isn't exactly great. Or we could try and tank this year and go for a good pick in the draft. I think really what direction I take depends on the type of trade offers that I'm going to get. So I'm just going to see what offers I can get for some of our top guys and move forward from there. Also, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to pick up on the microphone, but my bad if y'all can hear my phone vibrating in the background. Bro, I was driving yesterday, my check engine light came on, so I had to take my car up to get fixed. So y'all know how things like that go, or maybe you don't, but basically you're pretty much sitting by your phone all day waiting to get a call back, see what's going on. So that's why I got my phone on vibrate. Usually I'm a DND warrior. I got my phone on do not disturb all the time, almost to a fault. But for now, I got to keep that on, which is which is very unfortunate. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And it's really looking like we're not going to get any type of crazy trade offers for our top players. So I think I know I'm the I think I know the direction I'm going to take this. I'm going to just go ahead and trade pretty much everybody who has value. I mean, we're not going to get crazy value. Don't get me wrong. We can get like Manu and a first round pick for Karan Butler, which is fine. But I don't know how much Manu is going to move the needle in terms of contention. So I'm going to look to trade Ginobili and we're just going to move from there. Now with this roster, I'm not sure that everything will be completely accurate. And that's just because 2K does not have their own 2004-2005 roster, which is when Shaq ended up leaving to go to Miami. So I had to just download one that looked pretty good, and we're just going to go with it. Ultimately, I just want to have fun, do a rebuild, and, you know, have a good time. So that, that's really all we're here for. This is nothing that serious. I, I don't try to claim being the greatest rebuilder on YouTube. I'm most definitely far from it if y'all have watched my catalog of videos on this channel. But what I'm hoping is we can land the number one overall pick in the 2005 draft that's coming up. That way we can draft Chris Paul. And then Chris Paul will actually end up being in Los Angeles playing with Kobe Bryant, right? And then from there, we should have cap space and also draft picks to work with to go ahead and make this team even better. So that's going to be my approach. I think we can go into free agency, try and get active, sign some good players, and that's really the way that I'm going to approach this rebuild. Hopefully, it ends up working out for me. I'm a most definitely go out there and try my best to build a great championship contending team. And I think that a lot of teams, even in real life, could take note of the approach of having a year where they go out there and don't necessarily win a ton of basketball games. They have a retool, rebuild type of year. The Portland Trailblazers tried to do it with Damian Lillard, but ultimately they decided that it'd be better if they move forward with their young core. But there's some teams in real life with where they're in pretty much NBA no man's land. They're sitting at this point where they're a middle of the pack team with no chance to win a championship. I mean, essentially, it takes a miracle, right? But they're also not bad enough to where they can land a top prospect. A great example that I look at, and it looks like the Bulls are finally about to blow it up, is the current Chicago Bulls. I mean, they've just kind of been mid for a couple years. Ever since Lonzo went down, it's clear they are not a contender, but they have yet to make any drastic moves to shake things up. So I think that teams in real life that are in that type of spot could go out there, shake things up, and it could ultimately end up being very beneficial for them down the line. Also, thank you guys so much for all the support on the NBA 2K18 Cleveland Cavaliers rebuild. That video, it went crazy, and it was a fun one to make, man. I love going back to those throwback 2Ks, and trust me, that's going to be something y'all see some more of on this channel. Just, I, I don't want to make it my only thing, you know what I mean? I definitely want to do a lot of current rebuilds on this 2K 
as well. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and simulate the season. I'm hoping we lose a lot of basketball games, but with Kobe Bryant, that might be a little bit difficult. Well, right now we are actually doing pretty good. We're nine and seven. I'm sorry, Kobe. I did not want to do this because Kobe's a guy who would want to hoop, of course, whenever he could if he was healthy. But we're just going to tell Kobe, take a seat, man. So that way, th this is for the greater good of the team, man. Ultimately, how are we winning games with Kobe Brown? All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully this team comes to their senses and starts losing some more basketball games because there is no way we should be winning. Hopefully we end up as a lottery team this year. Season is in the books and we were bad. And that was pretty much the plan, right? We won 26 games on the season, meaning that we will have a great chance to draft Chris Paul in this year's draft, draft lottery. Congrats to Tracy McGrady on winning a championship, but let's get to it. It looks like we're going to land at five, probably the lowest we could have fallen, but you know, that, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And you know what? I'm okay with that. We can go ahead and move up. I prepared for this type of situation with all the draft picks that I stacked up on. So we'll be good. All right. I'm going to trade the number five overall pick. I also want to dump off this dude's salary. So I'll try to do that in this trade as well. Do Get two things done at once, essentially. So the number one pick, I think I just saw it. It's going to be the Charlotte Hornets, and they can't take on his money. I'll just dump off his salary later. We got to work on this trade in a second. Bro, why is my ringer on? Dog, I meant to have my phone on vibrate. I did not want to have my ringer on. I could throw in my pick next year because, uh, I, I mean, I think we're going to be good next year. I really think we can turn things around. But maybe I don't want to do that just yet. I might want to use that for a future trade. I'll throw in three for – these are unprotected, though. They could end up being good picks from other teams. I would like to hold on to as many of those as possible. And you know what? I'm confident we're going to be good next year. So I'll actually give you all my pick if you all want that. I'll throw in a lottery-protected Wizards pick, and I'll throw in another lottery-protected Rockets pick. Man, come on. I'll throw in – do we got any more lottery picks? We got uh, one of our picks down the line. I'll give you all that, too. Jeez. They, they were in my pockets for draft picks, but now we're going to be able to draft Chris Paul. I am not going to draft Aaron Williams, bro. I promise you. We're getting Christopher Emmanuel Paul. Now, this probably just made championships or winning championships like a million times harder, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, David Lee fell this far? Yeah, give me David Lee. You know what? He should be good for us. We'll go ahead and add him to the team. Chris Paul coming in only at a 78 overall. I don't know why. Usually he's higher coming out the draft, but is what it is, I guess. We got a bunch of qualifying offers. Yeah, y'all are all terrible. Y'all can all go. All right, let's go to free agency. <laughs> we could just bring back Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, that sounds like the move. Nah, we're not going to bring back Shaq. AI, bro, AI and Colby would be a ridiculous duo. That would be so much fun to watch out there on the court. I might have to try and make it happen. Now, in order to have some cap space, I need to trade this dude. So I'll go ahead and do that. And boom, now we're going to have some money to spend. Do I swing an offer Iverson's way? I mean, I'm kind of worried about the regression, but you know what? He's 30 and it's 2K, so it should be okay. It does, it's not like he wants to come here anyway, right? But we could go ahead and slide over to like a Kenyon Martin. Good power forward. We could definitely use some front court play. He doesn't want to come here either. See, this is the danger of coming off a bad season, trying to sign these players. Even in the bright city of LA, nobody wants to come, right? So we'll go ahead and swing. Michael Red, he's a he's a certified bucket. We'll go ahead and offer him a deal. Who else do we got? Tyson Chandler. Ooh, I'm going to swing and offer Tyson Chandler's way in just a second. And also, I'm going to renounce the rights to all these guys. I do not need their money on my books. So I'll go ahead and let go of those players. Oh, Michael Red signed elsewhere. Man, everybody's signing elsewhere. But you know what? I am going to swing our guy Tyson Chandler contract, four-year deal to be a big man for us. Boom. He's going to accept that. That's great. I think we also offered some power forward. Oh, Kenya Martin's still here. Speaking of power forwards, I would give Kmart a deal. I mean, I guess he doesn't want to come here, so we're not going to be able to land him. Anybody else who's any good? Larry Hughes? I mean, he's not bad. I'll swing him like a two-year deal. I'll offer Q Rich a contract. We need some players to fill out the rotation, so I guess I'll just sign these guys for this season. I did trade away my pick for next year, so there's really no reason for us to be bad in the upcoming season. We actually kind of need to be at least uh, passable, respectable, you know what I mean? Because I did give up that pick. 
but I'm just going to swing some offers to some different players and we'll see who we can sign. All right. So that pretty much wraps up all our cap space. Not a great basketball team by any means. We got Chris Paul here though in his rookie season. We got Larry Hughes. I want Chris Paul to be starting, but I mean, you know what? It's actually fine if he comes off the bench for his rookie year. He's only a 78 right now. We can wait on him to progress a little bit. Kobe, he's up to a 99 overall. Tyson Chandler goes up. John Salmons goes up. This team is buns, bro. Oh my goodness. We're really going to have to build this thing from the ground up but I think we can most definitely do that we've got a lot of draft picks to work with down the line we've got a good core with Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant and maybe even a guy like uh, Tyson Chandler I think he could be pretty solid for us I just came back from getting the Gatorade zero and squads doing well let me tell y'all though I know I talked about it a little bit earlier my car bro check engine light comes on I'm like oh oh great gosh golly miss Molly you know what I mean wake up I'm like ah man because usually I drop these rebuilds in the morning because I'll just go ahead record first thing in the morning whenever I wake up boom bam bop post it and then I'll move on about my day right but today that was not the case I had to go get my car looked at luckily one of my guys he was like oh you want to work out today and I was like of course he came to the crib picked me up worked out got some food we really went on a date for real but it was actually really fun um and uh shout out to him for going ahead and picking me up bro because i <laughs> i was gonna be bored in the house all day see i was I, I take it for granted the fact that i have a car i can go around do different stuff it's incredible man it's it's a, it's a blessing for sure and the fact that i'm just doing this youtube thing you know i've got i've got time i'm on my own schedule I, it, it's all awesome man so you know sometimes i i think that in life you can take certain things for granted or really get get like get a distorted view of what type of situation you're in and i feel like you just got to really count your blessings because some people don't have the opportunities that you do and they would love to be in your situation so just something to think about i'm not trying to sound like a philosopher or anything but y'all get what i'm saying but bro let me tell y'all when we were out eating bro i got this pizza oh my goodness it, it was outstanding oh <laughs> Let me tell y'all about that pizza. But I I don't know about y'all, but when I get pizza, I'm ready to dig in and go crazy, right? So when I got it, I don't ever wait for it to get cold, bro. My mouth is burning now. I think I burnt the top of my mouth trying to eat pizza. That That's just how it goes sometimes, you know? I, it's okay. I'd do it again. One of my most hot food takes is the fact that hot food is way better than cold food. I feel like you can have some food that's normally good, but if it's cold, it's trash. But if you have some food that's like just mid, maybe even bad, if it's hot, bro, just just come on, man. Hot food, it's top tier. Shout out to LeBron James, MVP, Darren Williams. Oh, Chris Paul, sixth man of the year. Solid rookie season for our guy, CP3. Very proud of him. All right, Kobe Bryant makes the All-NBA second team. He is back. He took a little break from hooping last year. You know, we had to go out and get a good draft pick. But now he's back, and we're back. We're in the NBA playoffs. Oh, my gosh, man. How are we the sixth seed with all those wins? I don't know if y'all remember this. I think it was around 2015, 16, around that time, right? Bro, the Western Conference was ridiculous in that era. I guess we're in another one of those eras in this 2K simulation. We're going to a Game 7 against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Who do they have? They got Latrell Sprewell, another 99 overall, and Kevin Garnett, Sam Cassell. I mean, their team is pretty good. But with Kobe on our squad, we've also got the greatest Game 7 performer in Chris Paul. I think we got this one. Okay, we're kind of getting cooked. We're coming back. We're coming back. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, no, no. No, no, we're gonna lose, man. Unfortunate, but I didn't expect this to be our championship year. So you know what? It's cool that we lost in the first round. Next year, we're gonna be back. The Cleveland Cavaliers win a championship led by my king. Congrats to them. And now it's time for the draft lottery. Remember, I traded for a lot of future picks. I'm hoping some of those come through for us. They did not. Wow, bro. We only got, wait, we don't, we don't even have any picks in this year's draft. Uh, hold on. So, something isn't right. Did I trade for all like 2007, 2008 picks or something? Because I feel like we should have some picks. Oh, well, I guess they're like all in 07. We got some in 09. Who's even in this draft though? Oh, it's fine. We didn't have picks. I wouldn't want picks for this draft respectfully. All right, so right now, going into the draft, we've got Tyson Chandler and Larry Hughes as guys who are on pretty significant contracts, making pretty big money. So I'm thinking we probably trade both of them. 
clear up some money heading into free agency. Don't get me wrong, these players are fine, but they're just not the type of guys that I want to be paying that crazy bread to to employ on my basketball team, quite frankly. So what I'm thinking is we can probably try and move up in the draft. I know I said this draft was nothing extraordinary, and I'm not trying to trade a crazy trade package to move up in the draft by any means, but if I can move up to number one for Larry Hughes and Tyson Chandler, I do it every single day of the week. I'll even throw in a second round pick. I'll throw in who else do we have we could throw in in this trade? David Lee, is he really going to be good? Probably not. We'll throw him in. How about who else we got on the team? We got uh, Jackson. Oh, no, he's expiring. Okay. Well, do we have another first? Yeah, we do. We got an 09. Boom. All right, great. We're picking number one. I think I want to go for Aldridge, but Bargnani's kind of crazy in the sim, I believe. But, bro, I got to go for Aldridge. Aldridge, mid-range maestro, guy who scored 20,000 points in his NBA. Oh, B-Roy was a... Oh, oh, I messed that one up. But you know what? We got LaMarcus Aldridge, so it is what it is. I think that uh, Brandon Roy would have ended up being really nice, though. All right, let's go ahead and move on to free agency. We got Chris Webber available, Sean Marion. All right, yeah, I think I really want to go for Chris Webber. I don't want to give him a no trade because he's so old, but maybe that's what would have pushed the offer over the edge. Regardless, we move. We're going to try and offer Sean Marion the Matrix. What does he say? Oh, the Matrix doesn't want to come here. Man, why is LA all of a sudden not a free agent destination? Uh, Karam Butler, we could try and bring him back to Los Angeles. You didn't get to play here last time. You know, you get a second chance, though, to play alongside Kobe Bryant. So, boom, we're going to land Karam Butler on the squad. Really solid addition for the team. All right, so now we've got a core of, like, LaMarcus Aldridge, Kobe, Chris Paul, and also, uh, uh, who did we just sign? Karam Butler? Oh, man, come on. Sean Marion's back. Oh, everybody's offering him anyway. The chances we would get him were probably pretty low. Regardless, we could offer Drew Gooden. Oh, yeah, we'll offer him. 24 years old, 81 overall. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and add him to the team. That seems like a good... Okay, well, never mind. We could offer Stromile Swift. Do we already have a four? Yeah, we kind of do with LaMarcus Aldridge. Maybe, I, I mean, I guess we could still offer him. We'll go ahead and swing him a deal. Boom, he's on the team. And then maybe like a decent center, Brad Miller. He declined. Come on, bro. Come on. You, you're really going to be getting that crazy offers, Brad Miller. We'll offer Rodney Randall a contract. And maybe I'll swing one like Chris Wilcox's way. We just need a big, bro. It's really that simple. All right, there we go. That's what we're working with for this season. Definitely a lot better. Some decent role players on the team. Chris Paul getting a lot better as well. LaMarcus Aldridge should be able to develop. And I'm pretty hopeful for the future. I mean, we're trying to win six rings here, so it might take some time. But once we set up that core, that's when we can really start cooking. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I thought this rebuild was going to take more time. I thought this was going to be another pretty mid-year, considering I hadn't filled out the depth the way I wanted to just yet, but apparently something's clicking. And I've learned from the previous rebuilds, man. I think that it's good to not jump the gun on moves, you know? If you're doing well, that's probably good, and you should just stick with what you've got. And then if it doesn't work in the playoffs, try and make a change in the offseason. Because I feel like previously, I was really eager to try and maneuver, make a bunch of trades. But now, I try to play my cards right, make my pick my spots well in these rebuilds. That's what I'm trying to do to improve as a rebuilder, you know what I mean? Hey, I mean, I'll take it. We finished off the season with a 61 and 21 record. Proud of the guys, man. We did our thing this year. Kobe Bryant was all NBA second team. I mean, he's Kobe. You know he's going to do his thing. Chris Paul, absolutely great. Karan Butler proved to be an incredible pickup. Stromile Swift running the four was good. Jerome James was trash. LaMarcus Aldridge, whoo-hoo, he had a good rookie year. All right, let's get to it, though. Round number one, we're taking on the Houston Rockets. They're the seven seed, we're the two seed. <laughs> oh, man. We just got absolutely cooked. Tracy McGrady beats Kobe Bryant in pretty convincing fashion. We lost in five. So there's still some work to do. We must have been regular season frauds. But remember, we had all those draft picks. No way we don't land in the... Okay, well, I guess not. We got a potential 11th pick. And it jumped to three! 
Oh, 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 that's huge. That's absolutely huge. This is the KD. Oh, oh, this is the KD draft. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Easy money sniper. Oh, yeah. We're moving up. We're moving up expeditiously. Come on now. We just went from 11 to 3. I, I haven't seen that before. Well, I probably have, but I don't think it's happened to me. All right, let's get into this draft, though. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'll give them. All right, this is what I'm thinking for my trade package. Is this too much? I, I, might, I might start off a little bit lower, but... We'll go ahead and talk to Phoenix. You know what? I want to hold on to these two, but we'll see. I'd be willing to part ways with those picks for sure. That's fine. All right, I'll give them our 2010, and I'll give them our 2011. And wow, wow, we just got Kevin Durant, bro. Kevin Wayne Durant. We're pairing up two of the greatest scorers in basketball history, Kobe Bryant and Kevin Durant with one of the greatest facilitators in basketball. There he is, Christopher Emmanuel Paul. Oh my gosh. And we only have $5 million to spend for free agency, meaning that that's enough to go get like, oh yeah, sure, sure. We'll swing Larry Hughes a deal. Great, that adds to the depth of the team. Awesome. All right, and then probably just going to fill out the roster with like some cheaper players. Uh, we could go get John Salmons back. Yeah, that seems like a good move. We'll sign him to a two-year contract. Boom. John Salmons is back. Big Z on the minimum. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and bring back Zildrunas, Il or Zildrunas Ilgauskas, and now we'll move to player progression. Woo! <laughs> This team looks special, bro. This team looks special. Oh my gosh, this is great. We got Paul Butler. We got uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, Kevin Durant. Oh man, we're about to go crazy this season. Wow, I I'm really happy with how this team has came together. I didn't expect it to happen so fast, but here we are. You know what I forgot to mention in this video, or really just forgot to talk about, bro? Traymond Green. Oh my goodness. He's back at it. The biggest menace in the league. Biggest menace in basketball history, bro, at this point. He just got back off his last suspension. I wouldn't be surprised if this next one is 10 plus games. And if the NBA only does 10, I feel like they're letting him off with a slap on the wrist. At this point, the antics are ridiculous. His resume of tomfoolery is longer than most players list of accolades. It is ridiculous what Draymond Green has done in this league. And I'm a Golden State Warriors fan, but quite frankly, I just don't think there's any room for what he's doing in the NBA, like whatsoever. I really think it's ridiculous that he can get get away with this pretty much on a yearly basis if not more he's having some type of major foul that would be considered like assault you know it, it would literally be assault if if like okay let's imagine i'm playing ball at the park right and i'm just like boom choke slam boom i'm a stomp on this dude i'm, I'm going to jail so so how can draymond green do it on a bat oh my controller's low let me plug that in shout out to playstation but yeah how how can i how can how how bro i how Another MVP for LeBron, KD, Rookie of the Year, and we were really good. I mean, y'all saw the wins going across the screen as I was doing my Draymond Green rant. Round number one, we got the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, we beat them. I was getting nervous when we were down 2-0. to zero. Round two, we got the Mavs. We beat them. Conference Finals, we got Golden State, and we were down 3-0. to zero. Hold on, a little 3-0. little 3-0. Game seven. All right, let's see who Golden State's even working with. Oh, this team sucks. Yeah, no way we should lose to them, but I always say stuff like that, and then we lose, so it's probably about to happen. Yeah, there it goes. There goes the blowout. Oh, my goodness. We're getting cooked. Oh, well, GG's, man. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that, that's crazy. All right. So we lost. Don't really know how, but LeBron wins another championship. Now it's time for the draft lottery where we are landing. We got anything? No, we don't. All right. That's, that's fine, though. We don't really need any picks this year. I think we do have a good amount of 2009 first rounders, which is huge because that's the Steph Curry draft. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, we got a good amount of first of 2009 first. So I'll be sure to hold on to those. I mean, at least most of them. I don't really see myself making any huge trades 
this offseason. I'm probably mostly just going to be relying on player progression from our guys. But we do got to bring back Kobe, which is, you know, priority number one. That's the biggest thing on our list right now. And we're going to get him back, which is which is huge, man. Absolutely great to have Kobe back on the team, of course. So welcome back to the squad, Mr. Bryant. We're going to bring him in. Now we're going to look at players who are affordable to bring back. Rodney Randall, hold this four-year deal, bro. 79 overall. You only want less than two mil a year. We will definitely be bringing you back. How about Jarvis? We'll go ahead and offer Jarvis a new contract. Three years. He's, he's a player we haven't signed yet, I don't think. So we'll bring him in. We've also got Wilcox. I think he was on our team before. Chris Wilcox. Yeah, he was. And I'm going to try to bring him in. All right, great. We got him. We made a few decent additions this offseason. Nothing crazy or anything. But I think the team is looking better. And with Kevin Durant improving, with Chris Paul improving, well, Marcus Aldridge has kind of disappointed me. But regardless, I think the team is looking a lot better. So hopefully we can get a championship this year. Season is over. LeBron's on a ridiculous run of winning MVPs. Not a big surprise. Kevin Durant won sixth man of the year this year, though. Why? Wait, is that what that said? Why we got KD? Oh, yeah, we do have Karan Butler. I mean, Karan is a 90. You know what? We'll let him start at least for this year. Next year, KD's probably going to pass him, but shout out to KD, sixth man of the year. I mean, when you have a team where KD's your sixth man, you're going to be good. We were the number one seed in the Western Conference. Round number one, we got OKC. Oh, ho, ho. we were down 3-0 came back round two we got the Mavs oh my gosh we almost blew I think a 3-1 or 3-0 conference finals all right finally a normal series now we're in the NBA finals taking on the Pistons of course Darko became an NBA legend in this one he's an 83 game number one of the series goes to us Oh, I did not mean to hop into the SimCast. Game two goes to the Pistons. Game three is going to go to us. We're up three to one, and the Pistons are going to take game five. Oh, come on, bro. Give us some. We're not going to blow a three to one lead, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing good in game seven. You knew Kobe wasn't about to blow a three one in the NBA finals. Come on now. We go ahead and win the chip. Kobe, 27, 7, and 8. Look at him go, man. He doesn't have to do everything now, of course, because we have a great team. Oh, giving Chris Paul the finals MVP is ridiculous. But you know what? Shout out to CP3, I guess. He did his thing in the finals, and we won a championship. That's all that really matters, right? We ended up winning the 8th, ninth, and 10th pick in the draft lottery this year. And this is the Curry draft. Harden, Blake Griffin, lots of great guys in this draft. So what I'm thinking is we could probably package together 8, 9, and 10. And go ahead and probably maybe move up to 1. I'm not sure. We'll see what all it takes. But we've got a lot of picks to work with. So I'd definitely be willing to give up a good amount of those to move up in this year's draft. I'll offer all of those picks, actually. Let's see if they're willing to work with me for number 1. Uh, yeah, maybe I overpaid there. But you know what it is, what it is. We're going to draft Steph Curry onto our basketball team. Our next pick is in the second round, and there's nobody notable available. Actually, I saw James Johnson. You know what? We'll go ahead and get him on the team. So welcome to the squad, Steph. We're also going to sign James Johnson onto the team as well. We got these team options. We're going to take those. Karan Butler did decline his player option. We've also got to bring back Chris Paul. So two big things to do this offseason, and I'll be sure to do those. We'll offer Chris Paul a big bag. We'll also offer Karan Butler a bag. Oh, man, teams are coming out and offering Karan crazy money. All right, we got to actually throw in some more bread. He is a really good player, so you know what? We got to be sure we get him back on the team. We'll offer him a lot more. There you go. No way he's passing up on that type of money from us, right? Come on now. Yeah, there we go. And we can also, oh, we can't offer Stromile Swift right now, but we should be able to now. And he only wants like five mil, so we'll go ahead and pay him that. Great. Everybody's back. Now we'll see who else is affordable in terms of like potential backups. James Jones, we don't really need a three. We can maybe use a decent two. Fred Jones, we'll go ahead and bring him in. Boom. We get him on a two year. Great. All right. I think the depth should be looking better than ever. We got Steph Curry on the team now. Yeah, we're, we're cooking right now. This should be a championship year. The one thing I'm noticing is, though, we do not have a good center on this basketball team. So maybe I could fix that by moving around some positions, or maybe I should trade for one. But I guess Karan, can Karan play the four? No, he can't. I mean, LaMarcus can play the five, but we'll still need a good... I mean, do we want... I, I, oh, I don't know. We might have to work something out. Hold on, man. Let me, let me see what I can do. 
This is just too perfect. I know it's a little risky because Bosch is on an expiring, but I'm going to trust my ability to bring him back and bring in Chris Bosch. You know what? Because then we can run Bosch as like a stretch five. I, I think that's a beautiful, seamless fit on this basketball team. So welcome to the squad, Chris Bosch. Now that we have a great five, we should be unstoppable. That also slides KD as the definitive starter at the small forward. So that works out well. I'm happy we made that move. Dude, for some reason, it feels like I've been sitting here for five to 10 minutes simulating this season. Maybe even more, bro. I, I don't know. It's been taking a while. I'm not really sure why, but whatever, I guess, man. We're just trying to get Kobe these six championships. I won't let the sim speed deter me. I'll just have to yap about something while I'm waiting. I, I don't really have anything to talk about for real, though, so I guess I can't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, man. I, my mind, I was thinking, you know, bro, oh. Oh my gosh, my parlays last night, bro. Luka Doncic won three away from making me maybe like 50, 60 bucks off a $10 parlay. Tragedy, I know. Then I had another parlay. Yeah, you know, maybe I should call that 1-800 number, but I had another parlay. Nikola Jokic was on it. Bro got ejected. Like, you've got to be kidding me. All right, the season is over, though. We're going to go ahead. Woohoo! Hold on, Kyle. Hold on. The low center of gravity is going crazy. <laughs> if you know, you know. That badonk and dunk. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the playoffs, man. With <laughs> the number, <laughs> they won 71 games. The Mavs won 71 games, led by Big Booty. Are you Dirk didn't win MVP? Big Booty did. Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. We're, we're the two seed headed into the playoffs. We're taking on the Hornets in round one. We're gonna beat them easy. I just want to match up against the Mavs for real. All right, here we go. 71 win, Dallas Mavericks. They've got a nice team, but guess what? We might just be nicer. I mean, I'm not really sure about that, but we'll see. Game number one is going to go to them. Game two is going to go to us. Game three also goes to us. Come on, give us another. Let's get that 3-1. All right, all right. We're one game away from the finals. Bro, why do these like near 3-1 comebacks or actual 3-1 comebacks or 3-0 comebacks even happen so often in 2K? It looks like we're about to beat them, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. We won the NBA NBA championship is what i was about to say no we won the conference finals but that was really the finals because now we got to beat like mitchell hayward and nick young i mean they also have d rose though and elton brand this is actually a pretty decent team let's just make easy work of this squad and get on with it game one goes to the bobcats game two is going to go to us game three also goes to us we're tied up at two apiece game five is going to go to us and we win in six there we go five chips for kobe bryant one away from the ultimate goal of six nba championships I don't know if we're at the point where we have any more draft picks. I know we traded for a lot earlier. Doesn't look like we really have anything anymore, though. So we'll just skip straight by the draft and head to team player options. Chris Bosch did decline his player option, which is unfortunate. I knew there was a possibility we could lose him when we signed him, but... I'm confident in our ability to bring him back, especially because bro has no offers. So we should be good. I'm also going to offer LaMarcus a nice little four-year. He did not develop the way I would have hoped in this video, but I guess that just happens sometimes. That's how that's how the cookie crumbles, you know what I mean? We'll also bring in maybe like a backup big or something. We'll go ahead and bring in Ronnie Turry off. Boom, minimum contract, great. We're good to go. I I'm fine with our team, regardless of whatever depth we have. I forgot we, we have Steph Curry on the team too like come, come on now man come on come on it, it's too easy y'all seen that clip of lebron where he's like come on man it's too easy that, that's how i'm feeling right now we should be able to go ahead and win an nba championship and that'll be a three-peat too if we win this third one in a row we're headed into the lebron james area era my king's era let's go ahead and get into it let's win this last chip and end off the video on a good note I just went away and uh, I had to put some dishes in the dishwasher. But anyway, bro, I just realized how crazy I must have sounded talking about Kyle Lowry's badonka dunk, bro. That, that was absolutely ridiculous. But we are almost to the NBA playoffs. It has been another very successful NBA season for our squad. I wouldn't expect any less from the team so very happy with how things have gone in this video i took the slow approach you know the first couple years they weren't exactly great but then we really got things together we drafted kd we well first off we drafted chris paul but then things really started to change around the time we got durant then we got steph curry we got like bro we, we just started stacking up on players and here we are about to win a three-peat man i'm confident that our team can do it
Season is wrapped. Hawks legend Kevin Garnett wins MVP. Yeah, we'll just move on from all this. I don't really care, to be honest. I just want to see us win the championship. Ended off the year on an eight-game win streak. Round number one, we got the Hornets. We sweep them. Round two, oh, we're down 3-2 to Portland. We're going to go to a game seven. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and beat this Portland squad. They got Mike Conley, Travis Outlaw, decent team but again we should be beating them but crazier things have happened in the world of 2k for sure it's a back and forth game so far blazers pulling away a bit but we're staying in the rear view mirror apparently not we lost man so i guess we're gonna have to run it back another year where i think we should win the championship but you know what just to be sure that we go out there and win that ring i will be sure to go out there and make some moves i think i'm gonna use all our remaining first round picks first off i gotta bring back anybody necessary in free agency right bring back some of our key players if that's something i gotta do yeah i do have to bring back kevin durant right so i'm gonna start it off by bringing back kd also larry hughes fell off we don't really need him anymore that's fine we're gonna give kevin durant this three-year offer he wanted to leave us that's fine we'll match the deal boom he's back all right great Kevin Durant is back. Do we have any money to sign anybody great? Not really. We'll sign Matt Bonner, I guess, you know, just as another addition. Then we're going to go ahead and move to player progression, and I will just use all the picks that I have left to try and improve this roster. So as of right now, we have a really great team, you know, solid depth, everything. You know, I'm pretty happy with it, but it wasn't enough to win the chip last year, so I'll just throw LaMarcus in two first, see who we can get. Maybe there will be some interesting trade. I accidentally just pulled up uh, this, this PlayStation dashboard but anyway let's go ahead and go over here see if there's anybody good that we can land I i'm gonna look through these trades and come back to you on a second all right i tried multiple different trade packages didn't really see anything i'm gonna see how the start of the season goes and if things are going well i might just not do anything but i might try and make a move around the deadline if we're not like the definitive number one team in the west Shout out to Big Booty, I guess. Another MVP. I decided not to make any trades, but we ended up as the second seed because Kyle Lowry and company were cooking. Round number one, we got the Memphis Grizzlies. We beat them in four. Round two, we got the Nuggets. We beat them in four. Now we got the Mavs. I'm not really scared. We're up two to one in the series. We're up three to one. Yeah, they, they just don't move me. Come on now. We're going to the finals. Atlanta Hawks, Sean Mary and KG. That's about it, though. Game number one of the series is going to go to them. Game two is also going to go to them. Game three is going to go to us. We're tied up at two apiece. Game five goes to them. Game six goes to us. All right, man. This is a huge opportunity. Game seven, NBA Finals. Tell Matt Bonner, take a seat on the bench, Brody. And also, our, our coach is trash. Oh, wait, Matt Bonner fits in the eight-man rotation. Never mind. Congrats, Matt Bonner. Our coach is terrible. I saw he had, like, D-. minus. So can we actually fire him right now? My staff, where, where's the coach? <laughs> where, where's coach at? Hey, coach. Hey, coach. Hey, I, I hate to tell this to you, bro. We are about to win a championship. <laughs> Not anymore. You? Yeah, nah, we're about to win one. Let's go ahead and sign Dan Parker. Dan the man. Welcome to the team. Let's get to it. Game seven, NBA Finals. Might have been the worst coaching hire of all time because we're losing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh we got cooked <laughs> oh my gosh man all right back to the drawing board i guess wow what a sell by me historical sell by, by me man all right do we have any picks this year we got 28 that's our own pick we'll just skip right by that though time for team player options we might have to bring back steph on a new deal no kobe accepted his player option loyal to the soil man that's what i'm talking about Kobe's back. Do we have to re-sign anybody? Uh, Rodney, yeah, you can go, bro. We're good. We can go ahead and sign Francisco Garcia. Wait, no, I don't want to sign Paul Pierce. I want this dude. We'll go ahead and sign him on a minimum contract. Boom. Welcome to the squad. That's all we're going to do. And then if there's any trades I can't, I'm actually going to try to do something around the deadline this year. Last year, I didn't really feel like it, so I didn't. But this next time, I might actually try to because maybe it could help us out. I mean, we've lost two years in a row, so it might be time to shake a little something up. Let's go, bro. My card's ready. They fixed the problem. Incredible, man. Now I can go back on D&D. &D. <laughs> bro, my phone's always on D&D. &D. Hey, all you really got to do, though, is call twice and it gets through. That's that's really all there is to it. Also, right now we're 19-1, and one, so I know I said I was going to make trades, but I, I might have lied because we're cooking. We're, we might not have to. I'm just going to let the season go because we're going crazy. 
Hey, we might just go 73 and 9 this season. We're really close. Ah, maybe 72 and 10 on the year, though, potentially, if we win out. Oh, no. Okay, maybe 71 and 11 on the year if we win out. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're cooking so far. Just two more wins, and boom, we're good. Let's beat the T Wolves and the Magic. Come on. Boom. All right, great. 71 and 11 on the year. Shout out to Steph Curry, greatest six man in basketball history. Round number one, we got the Golden State Warriors and no way we lose. All right. Yeah, I was about to say, we go ahead and we beat them in six. Round two, we got the Grizzlies. We beat them. Conference finals, we got the math. Oh, they want revenge, don't they? They want revenge, don't they? they, they they're they not going to get it though. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We lost in game seven, man. Come on. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to give this another try. I try and get the six chip for Kobe. Bro, I thought I was going to walk away from my game for maybe like 30 minutes, an hour, something like that, bro. It's been three hours. I left the game on the whole time. I know Greta Thunberg or whoever, bro, she's going to be mad. The, uh, the environment just got cooked by me individually. All right, so I don't think that we should have any draft picks this year. It's been a minute. Like I said, I, I, I've walked away from the game for a bit. So, yeah, we do not have any picks besides the 29th, which we're kind of going to ignore. I remember that we're coming off a devastating NBA Finals loss. We got to bring back Steph Curry, which, of course, is going to be a priority. And we also have to bring back the greatest point guard of all time, Christopher Emmanuel Paul. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a deal. Oh, we got to bring back Kobe, too? Oh, man. And uh, CP3 wants to go to the Sixers. We're not going to allow that. We just got to throw some more bread his way. Probably a no trade clause. You know, do everything we can, basically. Leave it all on the line so that we can get Chris Paul. I'll offer him all that, bro. We need him. And then same thing goes for uh, Kobe Bryant. We'll just uh, shift over here to two guards. And then we'll go ahead and offer Kobe. Big bag. No trade clause. Come on, Kobe. You've got to come back, my guy, man. We need you so bad. We need you so bad. All right, cool, cool, cool. So Kobe's coming back. And then with Steph, we're just going to match whatever offer Mr. Curry ends up getting. And boom, there's an offer for Steph. Of course, we're matching that. Oh, no. No, dude. Don't do this to me. All right. So Chris Paul, we don't have enough money to bring him back. And I mean, when it, when we look at the team, I think there's an obvious player that we should probably trade. And it's Lamarcus Aldridge. Not because he's bad at basketball or anything like that. It's just that we need to save some money right now, quite frankly. Uh, we need somebody who's cheap, like super cheap. Like I'm talking maybe like three, four million a season. Three million being cheap in NBA terms is ridiculous. You know, I, I'll hold the three million, but uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and slide down here. See maybe if there's some players potentially still on their rookie contracts. Uh, yeah, Derek Favors, dog. I guess that's the move, bro. We can save a lot of money. Oh, Miami doesn't have the money to take on, and they don't really have anybody on bad contracts. All right, so the Derek Favors thing isn't happening. Who else is available out here? Ooh, Anthony Davis. I mean, is AD untouchable? Bro, AD's ridiculous in the sim. Jazz are over the hard cap, because why wouldn't they be? All right, you know what? That's fine. Y'all can throw me... <laughs> They don't really have anybody to throw me. Is Anthony Davis uh, listed as an untouchable for Utah? I'm curious. Okay, I can't even put together a trade regardless, so that doesn't matter. I guess I'm going to have to use good old reliable trade finder, and we're just going to have to use whatever trade we get that makes some sense, I guess. We got to get somebody cheaper. Drew Gooden is a little cheaper. Marvin Williams is a little cheaper. But we're looking for somebody who can play for us for like five mil. I mean, is Ibaka cheap enough? Because he'd be cool. Uh, you know what? We're just going to take the chance. And then I guess we can trade KCP and Will Barton. Laker legend KCP is back in town. Ooh, we could get Shane Battier, but we can't really afford him right now. So you know what? We'll let go of those two guys. Or we'll go ahead and well, what was I talking about? Yeah, we saw, we traded those two guys. We'll trade him for a first. All right, great. So now we should be able to afford CP3. I really hope, bro. I really hope we can afford this. Okay, great. Great. We, we didn't need to make crazy budget cuts or anything over here in uh, Los Angeles, but we were able to make it happen. All right. So now we got minimum contracts available to us to fill out the roster. I was thinking maybe AI would want it, but that, that's not going to happen. And some of the old 2Ks, though, you could really sign these like solid free agents to pretty cheap contracts. 
So I guess we're going to have to stick with guys like C.J. Watson, Vincent Yarborough. Uh, who else we got? We got Ray, Reed Jeffries. He's pushing 100. We're not going to sign him. Who we got at the four? Stromile. Oh, I want to offer Stromile Swift a deal. I don't even know. Do we have enough under our bird ride? Oh, okay, great, great. We'll take Stromile Swift back. Oh, yeah, Tiago, big splitter. We're going to go ahead and sign him back to the team as well, or sign him to the team. All right, cool. So that's what we're going to do there. We picked up some bench players. We got our starting five. We're stacked, but 2K is probably going to find a way to sell me. We'll just have to see how it goes. By the way, today on the main channel, I dropped the Mona Lisa videos. Can Draymond's victims win a ring? Essentially, it was a bunch of guys that Draymond has, you know, choke slammed, whatever it may be, hit on the basketball court, kicked in the family jewels, right? All of the above. You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and put together a team of those guys to see if they could win a championship. If y'all haven't seen that video, check it out after this one. Channel is called Danny 2K. If y'all don't know, that's the main channel. We're approaching 20K pretty quickly. I'm almost sure. We can hit it before the end of the year. As for this channel, y'all think we can hit 2K before the end of the year? I think so. 2K on Danny 2, it has a nice little ring to it, you know what I mean? Right now, it is currently December 13th, Wednesday, December 13th at 6.28 p.m., right? And we're sitting, I think, around 1,800 subscribers, so we need 200 more before the end of the year. And at the rate we've been growing, that's very much attainable. Also, we're playing some great basketball right now, 26-5, and five, only good enough for second in the conference, and it's the Grizzlies who are number one right now. Okay, you know what? Since we're sitting here and we're not the best team and we got quite a few draft picks that we can maneuver with, why not try to use them? You know what I mean? I would love to find maybe like an 84, 85 Ricky Rubio wouldn't be bad, but we just have way too many point guards on our basketball team. Now, this trade for Dante Jones and Nick Collison is too good not to take. We get better at the four and we get a backup three who's an 82. That's an impeccable trade in my books. We could also look at trading Dante Jones, throw another two first round picks with Dante Jones, right? And then boom, we could potentially get another two for one deal. Tayshawn and Kendrick Perkins, big perk. We could go ahead and get him on the team. Andrew Butler and uh, who else was that? Amari Stoudemire. That's not bad. Yeah, but Tayshawn and Big Perk, welcome to the team. All right. And then I can, y'all see where I'm going with this. We can take Tayshawn. I got another first and we'll see what we can get for this trade package. Might not be as good as some of the others, but Tobias Harris and Roger Mason, that doesn't sound too shabby. If you ask me, I might have to take that one. We could get Johan Petro. Yeah, I think that the Tobias Harris one's the one we're gonna go with. All right, cool. So boom, that's another trade in the books. We just pretty much bolstered out our depth real easy. So good move in my books. So let's get to the end of the year. All right, man. So the season is almost wrapped. We are going to be a 70 win team. We just went 72 and 10. Shout out to MJ. We did our thing. Kevin Durant won MVP this season. Steph Curry again, being the greatest six man in basketball history. 72 wins going into the playoffs. Nobody should be able to stop us, but y'all know it's 2K. Round one, we win easy. We were down 3-1 to San Antonio. Just get out of here, man. All right, great. Now we got the Mavs and we're going to beat the Mavs. All right. We are so close to championship number three. We got to get past D-Wade and the Heat. They're not, they're not great. They're not better than us, but we'll see how it goes. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us, and we win in a sweep. Three more, three more championships added to Kobe Bryant's resume, man. Making it a nice six rings for Kobe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.